Okay, so here's the annoying microwave. The sound is set on. You can hear the beeping. I'll set it to two seconds and hit start. Okay, so it beeps four times just to tell me it's done. And then when I open the door, it beeps again. For what reason? I have no idea. It's just bloody annoying. Okay, so I set off to modify the microwave. Here are the tools that I gathered. As you can see, starting on the right side, there's pliers, some wire cutters, a screwdriver. Uh, down the middle, you can see my multimeter to test out the circuit. There's a soldering iron and some solder. And all the way to the left side on the plate is a hot glue gun, which I'll use to uh, mount my switch, which I'll be using later. So open up the microwave, uh, take some photos just to keep track of the wiring so you know how to put everything back together. Um, the buzzer is usually located on the main board that has all of the controller and the display. So there it is, the green board you see there on the right hand side with the display. That's got the controller or microprocessor. It usually uh, will interface with the buttons and so on and there's a buzzer on there. If, if you look at a close-up view, there you can see it. Um, and that's just inspect it carefully. Just make sure you can find a buzzer on there. Uh, it's going to be either on one side or the other or maybe mounted separately. So there's the other side of that green board. If you can uh, look carefully there on the lower left hand corner, there's this round looking thing that's kind of goldish in color. And if you zoom in on it carefully there, you'll see it says buzzer even. So on this board, it was clearly marked. But that is the thing that creates the buzzing or beeping sound in the microwave. So yours may look a little bit different, but you want to try to find that element. And I was set off to modify that. Uh, started off simply by cutting the wire to one side of the buzzer. It's usually got two wires going to it or two... Um, silver or metal leads. Uh, that's how it's mounted to the board. So I cut one off in order to stop it from working and because I wanted to still have my buzzer uh, active or at least toggle it active when I need it, I just soldered two wires onto it to replace the lead. So the red one goes to the board and the blue one goes to the buzzer. So if I join the red and blue it'll actually activate the buzzer again. So the idea was to just uh, extend those red and blue wires out to the to the outside of the microwave. There you see I drilled a hole through the plastic on the side. Uh, I passed the wires through and now if I connect up the blue and red wires it will essentially just um, complete the circuit through the buzzer and it'll work just as usual and I'll hear the sound again. But the idea was not to uh, let it work all the time so I put a switch in series with the buzzer. You can see there I'm holding a simple on off switch and uh, when I have it in the off position it, the circuit doesn't work but when it's on it completes the circuit and the buzzer works. So there I have it I've just wired in the switch with the leads that I connected through to the buzzer and when it's in the on position it completes the circuit and the buzzer works as normal. When I feel like uh, silencing the buzzer, I just flick the switch in the off position. I've got the microwave back together here in this photo, and I have the switch essentially just hanging off the side. And so at this point, I could have mounted it mu several ways. I could have even had it flush mounted, uh, but I didn't want to bother modifying the plastic any more than just that tiny little hold. So I decided I uh, just hot glue the thing on and be done with it. And I didn't really care how it looked. There's the back of it, you don't really see that at all, but that's the wires uh, hooked up to the switch. And now I'm going to demonstrate how it operates. Turn this thing off. Look, no sounds. I can press the 2 button. I hit start. It's done. No beeping. I press the door. No beeping. It's a miracle. Now I can use the microwave in the morning when the kids are asleep without these annoying beeps. If I need to turn it on again, I hit the switch. No problem. It's back to normal. And there we have it.
So a quick modification that saves you a lot of aggrava aggravation. I don't know why they didn't just program this thing inside of these, uh, these things here into the microwave, some kind of silence mode. I mean, it certainly should be able to handle it. And there's no reason to annoy everyone or have a volume setting or something. Anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoy it. And as usual, please uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave your comments to share how you use this video to help your project at home. Thank you.